Hello students, today we are going to learn about a Swiss art and luxury goods company, Karen D. Egg. Let us know this company in a much better way. Since its birth in Geneva in 1915, the Maison Karen D. Egg has been perpetuating its exceptional expertise and its spirit of innovation technical excellence as well as impeccable quality stemming from the Swiss tradition of fine craftsmanship give rise to some of the world's most sophisticated writing instruments and the most luminous colors. Karen D. Ake is a promise of exceptional gifts from personalized writing instruments to gift box sets of the color collections for creative people, the Swiss Maison fulfills any desires. Located in Geneva, since its inception in 1915, the Mason is committed to creating and developing writing and drawing instruments, combining the finest materials with the most advanced innovative skills, including some that are extremely rare, such as the exceptional art of authentic Chinese lacquer done by hand in the ancestral manner. Karen D. Eich is the pen name by which Russian-born French illustrator Emmanuel Poir achieved worldwide renown in the 19th century. The choice turned out to be a salient one since Karandash is a Russian term for pencil and in turn comes from the Turkish root Karatash which refers to black stone, the origins of graphite. This natural material found in the mountains of Switzerland gave rise to the first Swiss pencil factory set up in Geneva in 1915. Nine years later, in the hands of its founder, the visionary Arnold Squidger, it took the name of the famous illustrator, became known as Karen Dieck. Karen Dieck is one of the leading writing instrument and luxury stationery suppliers in the world. For nearly a century, the family-owned business has been at the forefront of innovation in its industry and has uniquely offered its international customer base the colorful options needed to experience the joys of writing an example in environmental management. Karan D. Ake is one of the few companies in Switzerland that has been ISO certified. More importantly, the company has throughout its existence emphasized what it considers its core asset, its people. Age 49, Claudio Colusi, when essence of design and color meet. The iconic 849 was reinvented by the famous Swiss designer Claudio Colusi. The two exclusive creations are available in a limited edition. Ecridor Mademoiselle, the Maison Karen D. Ake is opening up a new chapter devoted to the feminine universe. The Ecridor collection welcomes a line of refreshing and charming new writing instruments. Ecridor Mademoiselle, Museum Acurelle, the strength of watercolor in a pencil. The Museum Acurelle range has standard landscape and marine. Borrowing the best virtues from the plant world while assuring its protection, drawing inspiration from human traditions while promoting development, these are the principles behind Karen D. Ake's commitment to preserving the environment. Environment-friendly production methods, careful selection of raw materials, recycling of waste and energy savings are all imperatives for the company. Special attention is given to the choice of products and raw materials used in manufacturing Karen D. Ake has led the way by developing a water-based varnish which drastically reduces the use of solvents and has lowered the risk of fire by ending the use of volatile organic compounds VOCs. In 2011, the use of all solvents was cut by 50%. Since its foundation in 1915, Karen D. Ake has placed product quality and respect for people at the heart of its policy for growth. For this family, enterprise based in Geneva, Switzerland, social responsibility has long been an essential voluntary component of everything it does. In setting up 
structures able to meet the challenges of the future the company integrates social environmental and economic concerns both internally and throughout regular contacts with all the parties involved in the activities going beyond legal obligations these ideas are rooted in the culture and ethics of Canandaic which is determined to continue manufacturing essentially in Switzerland so students we got to know about the various aspects of Canandaic we went through the company's history to the present day scenario hope the information about the company was useful have a good day